AC 460P. Um, doing the hard parts, uh, the valve adjustment. This so far has been the trickiest thing I've done. Uh, first thing you got to do is find top dead center. You could do this two ways. And uh, pull the cover off the front and line all the dots up on the crank and the cam. That is exactly top dead center on number one cylinder. There's a number one cylinder sitting in the front. One, two, three, four, five, six in the back. All right, if you look right here. There are markings right there. I don't know if you can see that, but on that dial, it says TO and there's four dashes. You see I had to sandpaper it, okay? It was all rusty. You couldn't see it. I had reached up in these holes, the covers, and found it. That says TO, that is top dead center. The only problem is you don't know if you're on this one, which is number six, or that one. That is what you have to find out. Are you on number one valve or are you on number six valve? Now, like I said, you can do this two ways. You can pull the cover off under all that mess and line the dots up. You know, if you're in there for, like I did, I did the cam, so I was in there, so I, I, I lined the dots up. I could see them. Or you're gonna have to find another way and I can't really explain it to you because I'm not really for sure. My buddies come and did it. But we turned the motor over till the exhaust or the intake. This is the intake, that's the exhaust. Started coming up. And then the same on number six back there. Uh, basically, it's called overlap. And the intake would come up and the exhaust would go down at the same time. But don't ask me any further than that. Uh, it's basically on every single car is the same four stroke. So uh, you could uh, study it that way and figure out what valves are supposed to come up and down. Okay. But anyways, regardless, I found top dead center. Um, the first thing you do when you're adjusting these valves, I had to cut this tin down to in here. It's a little slot, so you got to cut your tool. Okay, you put it in there and then you put it under here. All right, you see where I got them? You have to lift up on this to do it. And then you're pushing down force right here. And when you get a, a, a tight drag on it, you're good. These are level now, your valves are level. All right, so I tightened that down, tightened the nut until I got it tight. And I got a level where I had a drag on this one and this one at the same time while I was pushing down on this. I actually took this screw and just screwed it down pretty tight. So it actually pushed down force right in the center. And that's how I was able to get a good drag on both sides to find it. All right. Now we're going to adjust the brakes. They said cut a screw. The book told me to cut a screwdriver down. Or that's not a screwdriver. That's a butter knife. And bend it. And I had to grind it down because we're going to put it under the brake. You see that? You lift up on this. And you slide it under there. That's where the brake is. We're going to do the brake first. So I'm going to loosen this up a little bit, try to get this in there. All 
Okay, you can sit them in there. Sit. Now, with this spring, this spring, we have to tighten it down. Now, they want us to use a tool, a six pound inch torque wrench. We're going to tighten this down until it gets tension all the way on it. And we want the spring to be collapsed. See it? And I'm pushing down on it. The spring's collapsed. This ain't moving. We got it tight. Now look. Let's feel the drag on it. Too tight. See, I can't even move it. So we're going to loosen it. Still too tight. Loosen it. Oh, there's, there's a drag now. Now they want six pounds of force. Or six inch pounds. So I'm just going to barely tighten it. That's too tight. I could move it there. Uh, so I'm going to loosen it here. Right there. You can see the spring is still collapsed all the way. All right, so there's a break. Now, let's tighten that up. Okay, I'll torque it later. All right, pull that out. Now, with uh, a 24... my 24 go I gotta find it okay now I'm sitting on 24 put that right here right there Okay, now we're going to tighten that. Wow, the other one's in there, but I lost my only wrench. Can y'all see it? Hey guys, if y'all notice the shirt I'm wearing today, I got the Corona. <laughs> uh, that's not a joke. I mean, I guess it's a joke, but it's just a Corona t-shirt, so I thought I would say that. I'm still looking for my Allen wrench. If y'all see it, let me know. Oh, how am I going to get that? Hmm. Yeah. Got a little bit of magnet on this wrench. All right, we gotta tighten this up. Okay, feel the drag. Oh yeah, I felt it. Yeah, that's it. All right. So, I'm gonna tighten that down. Okay, it got a little tighter. See that it, it turned while I did it, so I'm gonna have to recheck it. All right, see it's too tight. See it, it's not going in all the way. Oh boy, I did that one good. So put it back at this time so I'm gonna let go of the phone okay now look see the drag okay that's supposed to be adjusted and see there's still a drag on that all right let's feel it oh that feels good a little 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 you know a little bit of play yeah yeah, because you got that little gap in there, so you know when you let it go, it's gonna free up a little bit. 
That's what the spacer does, the feeler gauge. Okay, now they want us to do the intake. And I don't remember the, uh, the number for the intake, so I'm going to have to uh, not put that in this story. But whatever the number is, let's say it's 24, you can see it's already set up for a 24. It's already been adjusted, so I'm gonna say it is a, well, it's a little tight, it's a little tighter than 24, so maybe it's less, but the 24 is starting to go in there. But it, this one's simply, you just tighten it up right there with this one, and that's it. Now, after this, we have to adjust this in firing order. So we're on one now. And you see I put a mark here where uh, top dead center is. And then when we spin it, this is going to be the next mark going to line up. Because look, it's in between every one of these bolt holes. You can see each one lines up that way. See it? So you're, you're going to count... Uh, that's one way to do it, or the other way is to count bolt holes on the uh, flywheel as you spin it. I think it's four bolt holes, and it will uh, line you up on the next number. I wrote it down for me. It's a firing order, one, three, six, two, four. So we, since we did one, now we have to go and do five. All right, and there's my uh, measurements, 45 for the exhaust, 24 for the... Uh, um, uh, valve adjustment. So we're going to five. So we're going to pull everything out of here and we're going to spin it. Okay. All right, here we go. Now, that's a mark, but I don't know if it's a mark that I got to be on. Um, so I'm going to have to uh, get under there and count bolt holes. Uh, either, and I got to sand on the flywheel. It's going to say, uh, you know, see right here, I got to get under here. And I gotta sand that. I gotta find out where five is. Okay, there's five right there. You can see that it's down. So we're not even close to getting there yet. Um, we're going to be there when that cylinder is all the way up at the top. So, uh, and this is the next, like I said, the next firing order. Um, so we got to do five. This is five. So I'm going to have to turn the flywheel over until I get to five. Until that's all the way at the top. And then when I do, I'm going to come over here and see that you can count these bolt holes. You reach your hand up in here. Everywhere where this uh, clutch is bolted to the uh, transmission, that's in line with uh, um, where, where, you know, top dead center on one of these pistons. So I don't feel no bolt holes here. Okay, the clutch don't bolt up to it. You know, if I had a light, you could see there's no, I'm, I'm feeling right here. Well, actually, you know what? I just felt a bolt, it's right here. So that means I need to bring it over to here in line with this pointer and sand on that flywheel and see if I see any marks. But I know it's not gonna line up for this one because number five is right here and it's all the way down. It needs to go all the way up to be on top dead center. So I'm gonna shut the video off with those notes uh, and uh, hope this has helped.
Uh, this is a very tricky part of it. I've noticed that this is what I'm having the hardest time on. I had a hard time finding top dead center. My buddies had to come over and help. Um, but once I get on number five, I'm going to do all the video all over again. The same thing you just saw the adjustments on there, the same adjustments. So it's all the same, but you have to go from one, five, and in order. So I'm signing out, guys.